And welcome back to Mike Ferry TV. It's the week of August 29th, end of the month. Got to get to work, got to prepare. I think I brought up last week, preparations in August for September, October, November determines our Christmas income for ourselves and our family and the cash flow we need for the month of January. Let's make this a great finish for the year. And it starts today. And it starts with, for many of you, October 11 through 14, attending our Superstar Retreat in Hollywood, Florida. That's between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Beautiful Weston Diplomat Hotel. We're going to have several thousand people there. We want you to be there. Call my office, get registered, sign up. Okay, here's what I wrote down for today. Let's look at some additional skills, thoughts, and actions we can take to list more property. Or is there a formula that we can work on in September, October, November to list a lot of property between now and the end of the year. So I wrote out a little formula. I want you to write it down. I want you to review it every day, and I want you to apply it if you want to list property. All right, so here's what I wrote down, the steps in the formula. Number one, track the number of hours that you're going to prospect every day. All right, so on your calendar, end of each day, write down how many hours you prospected, and then ask yourself, was it enough to get me the listing goal that I have set for myself? Number two, track who you call and the order with which you call them. See, I, I tell people all the time, the MO on Mike Ferry for 41 years, I, he just wants you to knock, knock on doors all day. He just wants you to cold call. I've never said that. I mean, that's way down the list of things we tell people to do. Watch, call your past clients, call your centers of influence, contact for sale by owners, contact expired listings, do just listed around your listings, doors and phones, do just sold around your sales doors and phones. Right off the bat, there's six things to do before you have to knock on a cold door. But if you put in the order you want to do your prospecting, who you're going to call, you'll be more effective. Number three, critical. Check your attitude, approach, and expectations every hour on the hour when you work. Because we can get way off track on our attitude very quickly. Obviously, the approach is what you say, the smile on your face, how you are dressed, your appearance. This is all part of the approach. And your expectations. You're going on a listing presentation at 3 o'clock. Are you going with the attitude and the expectation you're going to get the listing? Or are you going out hoping you get the listing? Number four. Check your use of the scripts while prospecting. Check your use of the scripts while making a presentation. We didn't write the scripts for you just because I like to write. We wrote the scripts so you could become more productive and have a clearer path to follow. Number five on, on our little checklist, check your energy, your enthusiasm, and your intensity each hour that you work. Take a three by five card. On one card, write down, obviously, attitude, approach, expectations. Put it in your pocket. Sit on your desk, put it in front of you. Take a second 3x5 card. Write the words energy, enthusiasm, intensity. Put it in your pocket. Touch it, feel it. Put it on your desk when you're sitting at your office to keep yourself reminded of the importance of those words. I wrote down number six. Never take no for an answer when a yes is still available. Folks, if you're on a listing presentation, until they stand up and look at you and pick up your contract and rip it in half, and dump it on your lap, there's still a chance for a yes. Or in essence, don't quit before you have a chance to win. And number seven, keep your ego out of the skills process because listing property is about them, it's not about you. And of course, if you can understand that, you can really go a lot further, a lot faster. So there's a little formula to follow. Now with that being said, here's a few of the skills you need to work on also between now and the end of the year to make sure you get the listings you want. So next skill, understanding the importance of repetitious boredom. Do you really think it's always exciting doing what you do? And even though you're going to get big rewards when you do it right, do you think it's always exciting? No. I'll tell an audience time and time again, do you think it's always exciting to stand before a group and speak? No, there's some days I've said, I've done this 5,000 plus times. There's days when it's boring as heck, but this is my job. My job is to teach, to motivate, inspire, educate people like yourself. I have got to at all times understand it's going to be boring at times, but I can't let the boredom of the job affect my presentation. 
And then, of course, I wrote there is this great skill. The magic answer for listing property is the skill of prospecting, talking to people. Non-producers never master this skill. Isn't that interesting? The people that are bitching and moaning, complaining about the real estate business in your office as you're watching Mike Ferry TV today, they never talk to people. They haven't mastered that skill. And then, of course, I wrote down next. If you want to improve the quality of what you're doing from now to the end of the year, improve both the quality and the quantity by working every day at getting better at the quality and doing more, which is the quantity. The last thing I wrote down for today, if you really want to be, do have a great September, October, November, December, make peace with the imperfections that take place in your day-to-day -day life. Even highly skilled sales agents make mistakes. I know this will be hard for you to believe, but whining, moaning, and complaining are actually not forms of prospecting, but they are used by non-producers every day. Let's finish August strong. Let's get you signed up for the retreat in October. Let's make sure you're on the right path using the things we teach. And most importantly, let's commit to September, October, November being the best three months we've ever experienced. Or as my friend Ed Kaminsky started saying about five years ago to all the great agents, let's make it a September to remember. Talk to you next week.